You know, a lot of people hate Rebecca, and I'm not there. I don't hate her. I felt like she was mishandled. She was definitely mishandled, but I don't hate her. Okay, I, I really don't hate her as much as a lot of people do. So this episode didn't bother me as much. You know, she was crying again, of course. But this episode was basically setting up what's going to happen. It was setting up the, the, the repercussions of them entering Dressrosa and all that they did. Now, Fujitora, the die rolled six. So Fujitora is going after the Straw Hats. And I think the coolest thing about this episode was the fact that all the, um, the, the competitors in the tournament... They're stationed at different places, and they're clearing a path for the Straw Hats and and and, um, and those guys. So they're clearing a path for them. And you see Cavendish, you see Sai, you see the giant. I forgot, I forgot how to pronounce his name. Um, Hajudin. The, the the thing that's what it is. Hajudin, whatever. We got a lot of Bartolomeo, man. One of the funniest moments of this episode was when. Luffy, you know, Luffy at the beginning, he was acting really weird. He just, he just, they just really focused on him eating his goddamn piece of meat because he was just licking his fingers. I'm like, okay, what's the point of this? But then after that, Luffy's like, I got something to take care of. I'll be right back. I'll meet you guys. And then Zoro says, Luffy, hurry up and get done what you're doing, right? But then they show Zoro's going south. Everybody else is going the other way. I thought that was hilarious because. Bartolomeo said, Zoro Senpai, you're going the wrong way, but you look, you still look really cool doing it. <laughs> that was hilarious to me because it's just like, that just, it's, that's the straw hat. That's what it is. That is one piece, yo. And you know, they're running away from the Navy because they're going after them now. And then the, when Bellamy, Bellamy tried to come at law and I didn't understand what he was thinking or what he was doing. Like, don't go at law. He's like, yo, why, why did you save me? He's like, yo, listen, man. Straw Hat said you're his friend, so that's why I picked you up, right? You can go and drop dead right now for all I care. And, and Bellamy was like, he said something crazy. And then Law said, you came to say thank you, right? That's all you had to say, bro. Just say thank you. But, you know, it's that, that interaction was kind of cool because that just shows that Law is still the cold bastard that he is where it's like, yo, you can die for all I care. But we all know Law is a pretty nice guy. He's a cool guy, right? So that's not, I don't think that's, um, he could really feel like that. I don't know. He could really feel like that. This episode was mainly focused on Luffy taking Rebecca from the palace and then, and then that goes back to how dumb the citizens of Dressrosa are because the fact that you can still question Luffy as far as his integrity and how everything that he's done for the city and, and I don't know man I just it's like sometimes it's like it's so annoying like would you would you think this guy would do all this then you know it's like oh it's probably for ransom but then to their defense they just went through a traumatic 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 <laughs> experience with Doflamingo. So I guess pirates in their eyes are a little sketchy, even though you helped us out through it. They're still like, I don't know, because someone mentioned him using it for, I don't know, ransom or something. So, you know, he went to get Rebecca because he was, he was kind of bothered by the Kiro's thing because Kiro spread that rumor that Rebecca's dad is some faraway prince or whatever. He was bothered by that because so then he went and he talked to Rebecca like, are you okay with this? Like, if you're okay with this, I'm out. But if you're not, come with me. And I remember this specifically in the manga with Kiro's, the same chapter, Kiro said, I'm leaving. And the same chapter, back, Rebecca said, I'm coming with you. Before the next chapter, everyone was speculating, are they both going to join the crew or just Rebecca, just Kiro's? So I remember how they set it up. That was, that was really cool. So the thing is now, I, I, I don't know what, what, what was the plan here. What's the plan here? Like after you kidnap Rebecca, what do you what do you what are you doing with her? Right? What what do you wanna do with her? And of course if you're anime only, if you read the manga, you know exactly what happened. If you're anime only, then it's like, alright, what the hell what is Luffy going to do? Because he's just running away. And Luffy is pretty nimble. I mean, you you know Luffy's fast, but seeing him just jump from rooftops like pretty much Spider-Man, that was that was pretty cool. But again, man, this this episode is focused around the Rebecca and Luffy stuff and Seeing Bartolomeo is always fun because his interactions, even Usopp, Usopp fell. Usopp fell and Bartolomeo was like, oh, you still look cool. You look so cool. <laughs> and I remember last episode, I didn't get the review for last episode, but one of the funniest moments when Bartolomeo walked into the room and it was Robin, um, Usopp, Zoro, Frankie, and Luffy. They're all sitting there and <laughs> his eyes were like, yo, it's too bright. It's too bright. Like all five stars sitting there together, they're too bright. It wasn't amazing, 
but it was entertaining because the pacing wasn't that bad. You know, seeing Fujitora move into action was great. Saying Goku, you know, I didn't again, I didn't review last episode, but seeing his personality, I can see how him and Gar got along so well because he's just he's a funny guy. But when you get uh, elevated to Fleet Admiral, you have to be this stern re representative of the Navy, right? You're the leader of the admirals, you know, so you have to be this person. But seeing him so laid back, just eating, asking for noodles, that was cool. And Suru, you know, uh, how the Tantara, they're, they're basically, you know, healing the Navy, but it seems like they were just scouting as well, just to, to, to deliver um, information to the Straw Hat. So, um, all in all, a good episode. I don't think it was that bad. The pacing wasn't terrible. The only thing they spent too much time on was when Lucy, Luffy, I <laughs> said Lucy, when Luffy was just eating. Like, they spent a lot of time focusing on that. I was like, that's too much time. And it was a moment where it's like, they showed Rebecca with the letter, and for no reason, they just zoomed in on her chest. I was like, why? It is what it is. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, next episode should be all right. Not great. An episode after that, though, that's when Fujitora really takes action. So, let me know what you thought about this episode. Like the video if you did, subscribe to the channel if you have not. That would be dope. Have a good day.